Hey guys, this is Dave from Basin Calls, and the purpose of this little video is to teach you the four basic effective sounds that you can do on the ricer or the crusher. Okay, the first of these sounds is called the tea hit. And just like it sounds, you're going to say tea a hit into the call. Tea hit, tea hit, tea a hit, T E A H I T. Tea hit. Tea hit, tea hit, tea hit, tea hit. Tea a hit. When you say the T, it puts pressure forward. When you say uh, the pressure drops back. And then when you say hit, the pressure goes forward again. Tea hit, tea hit. You can say it slower, drag it out. Or you can say it quicker. Tea hit, tea hit, tea hit. Either way, it's a really good, effective sound for calling specs. The second one is the basic three note. You're going to go tee hee hee, tee hee hee, tee hee hee. And you notice as you say it, you go down like going down steps. T is the hardest pressure part of it. He he, it just gets lighter and lighter. Tee hee hee, tee hee hee, tee hee hee. Now you can make the first part of the T higher pitched by lifting up a little on your middle finger and then as you go to the hee hee part, let it drop back down again. Or just blow it straight through with your fingers down. Tee hee hee. Tee hee hee. That's the second very effective sound for getting Specs' attention. The third sound, to do it correctly, we're all familiar with the, the basic two note, you know, the hoo hoo <laughs> thing. But to make it really good and effective, to make it sound like a big mature spec, and to make it more useful, you're going to put your voice into it. You're going to put nice, deep, gravelly hum. You're going to go, too hoo hoo, too hoo hoo, too hoo hoo. That nice deep gravel from down from your diaphragm is what gives it a more realistic mature spec thing. You can hear the rumble and the growl and the force in the voice. That is a nice mature spec sound. I use that sound a lot when you have a single spec coming. He's coming to you already. He may be already locked up and coming to you and you just want to give him a simple greeting. I just give it a nice deep woohoo and he will instantly pop back and that just lets him know yep those are specs on the water or in the field and it gives him more confidence to work softer to you without suspicion so nice and gravelly woohoo woohoo and then the fourth and the final sound which is really effective but don't overuse it is again it's the cluck and the cluck can be done a couple ways. You can do ut with your voice, which is a nice gravelly cluck. Ut, 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 ut. And you're not going to want to do a bunch of them. Do five or six. Ut, 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 ut. Ut, 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 ut. It's more realistic if you can do them in a short rainbow. <laughs> that little short burst of clucks are very natural on the water. I actually use it a lot to turn birds. You'll get birds that sail by 
still locked up and you want to turn it back around. Just a short burst, five or six clucks. But the voice again adds the realism of a mature bird. Uh, 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 uh. It's kind of a rainbow sequence. When the birds do this, they're actually fussing about in their little family family groups, and they'll get all clucky with each other. And that kind of makes a useful cluck using ut. If you have trouble doing that, you can still do the good old-fashioned whit, but real wispy. Whit, 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 whit. Whit, 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 whit. But be real wispy about it. It gives it a little realism at the beginning. Whit, 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 whit. Whit, 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 whit. The whit cluck is harder because it's right from the diaphragm, so you're really working your diaphragm. The ut cluck is easier because you can fill your lungs up like, like a bagpipe and go uh, 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 off that one breath of air. To do the whit cluck right, it's all from the diaphragm. Like blowing out a candle. So it's pretty diaphragm, diaphragm intensive. So either way, they'll both work. The whit cluck to me sounds just a little bit more realistic. Than the ut cluck. But the ut cluck is easier for some guys to do. They'll both work. They will both work. The way guys are getting in trouble nowadays is they're doing too much clucking. The birds are hearing so much clucking that they're getting paranoid of it. So anymore, I just like to hold it in my bag as a way to turn geese that are already working the decoys. They're already convinced they want to work around the decoys. Then I'll use just a short series of clucks to turn them. But just don't wear the geese out with the cluck. Because they're hearing a lot of it and they're starting to get shy and paranoid of it. Let me recap really quick the four sounds we heard. You got the T hit. You got the three note. T hee hee. T hee hee. You got the two note or three note. Woohoo. A lot of preload, a lot of voice. And then you got the clucks, either the ut cluck, or quit, 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 quit. That'll give you four sounds, basic sounds that are not hard to learn, but they will help you a gob in the field.